my name is Dr. DZ Washington. I am the Senior Vice President of Operations at BioPlus Specialty Pharmacy. I've been with BioPlus for three and a half years. I uh, oversee um, components of the operations related to uh, patient support and uh, retention. And so once a patient is onboarded, it's my job to make sure they stay on board with us, stay happy. And so I manage the folks that talk to the patient on the phone, that retrieve refills from their doctors at the right time, that uh, after the initial insurance authorization, I make sure that it's reauthorized, as well as if there are any complaints, concerns, needed enhancements, I work with other leaders to make sure those things happen so we can keep uh, all of our patients both compliant, persistent over time, but happy with our service as well. I've been a pharmacist for 23 years. I graduated from Florida Agriculture and Mechanical University, Go Rattlers in Tallahassee, Florida. I chose pharmacy as a career path, uh, really on accident. Uh, I was preparing for college, wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Uh, I was pretty good at a lot of things. Uh, one of my uh, teachers who was a mentor, uh, Mr. Vitter, told me to take uh, the ASVAB, which is the Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery Test. And he said, that'll tell you what you're good at and that'll help narrow down the choices. I took the ASVAB and said I was good at like a lot of stuff, so that didn't help. Uh, and a friend of the family was over. We were talking about it one time and he goes, he looks at me, he says, son, you're losing your hair. You're going to be bald. You'll probably get a pot belly. You look like a pharmacist. You shouldn't be a pharmacist. And so um, I'm applying for schools that I wanted to go to. I looked at where I was getting scholarships from and uh, one of the schools that I got a full scholarship from, Florida a and they had a great pharmacy program, so I chose pharmacy. Uh, I enjoy most about working uh, at BioPlus is just the culture that we have. Um, it's really entrepreneurial, allows you to go in different directions. Every day is different here at BioPlus, so I love that. Um, what I love about pharmacy is just um, helping people help patients. Um, in retail, you work directly with the patients. Uh, in this role, I really work with the agents, the uh, soups, managers, all those folks who help um, serve the patient more directly. And so there's a lot of um, personal reward um, come from when you help a patient get their medication, solve an issue. Uh, but I like to work on the development side with people. And so I try to work with them so they can get that reward. So I benefit indirectly from the impact we have on patients. But what's my biggest joy is just to help people grow, uh, potentially become leaders, fulfill their passions. Those things uh, are what make me excited about coming to work every day. Uh, the most challenging thing about the job is just the landscape. I mean, our healthcare system is in flux. Uh, the payers, the insurance system uh, is in need of a massive overhaul. Rising drug prices, increased cost share for patients, um, the expense of the medication, um, cost of living is going up, chance of living is going down, and it's just uh, it's just a challenge uh, in helping folks navigate okay, through that system. And so just fighting against that and doing the very best that we can is, is the, probably overall most uh, the most difficult thing. No specific item, but just uh, that landscape makes it very challenging. My proudest moment as a pharmacist uh, was probably um, when I was, uh, I got named to be Mr. October. Uh, and what that was is that there was a, uh, Aetna used to do a 
a calendar each year honoring uh, pharmacists and other healthcare professionals, and it was particularly centered around uh, African American pioneers. And so, several years back, I was uh, Mr. October for Aetna's uh, pharmacist calendar. Uh, it was a fully clothed uh, calendar. Uh, so, I was dressed up in my smock uh, with uh, counting out some pills and uh, they interviewed me and I had my pictures taken by a professional uh, guy who actually won some awards for uh, Olympic photography. So uh, that was probably my proudest moment, not just for that honor. It was an honor, uh, but because I get I, I was able to go home and give my mom a calendar uh, with her son. And so if you know anything about uh, my mom, if you knew my mom, you know I'm her baby. I'm the youngest, I'm the only boy. And so uh, it was a big deal that her son uh, was featured uh, uh, if you give her the opportunity to talk about it in the calendar. So that, that was my most proud moment, Mr. October, uh, way back in 2005.